Hi, I'm Sandy Murphy of Classic Design in Duxbury. I specialize in home staging and interior design, and I'm here today with PCN's Design Corner to talk to you about designing a room in your home. When I did this room, there wasn't much here. It was unfinished and I needed to make it feel like ours. So my first thing to do was to finish off this unfinished fireplace. To do that, I needed the perfect mantle. Now, I don't want to just get a builder special because I didn't want to do that. Anyone can. I wanted something unique. So I searched antique shops and happened to come across this mantle. And the minute I found it, I went, oh, that's it. That's the one for me. And that's where this room began. Fireplace mantle was the first thing I came across when I was shopping. So then when I wanted to tie in some finishes, but not everything, because I don't want matching finishes, I felt the next big piece of furniture should relate to the fireplace mantle. And I came across one. I love this bookcase. It's got the right color and the right feeling for the room. And it certainly ties in the colors of what I did on the fireplace. Next, I came across the chairs. Um, I did custom upholstery, but the chair finish I loved and it works well sitting next to this bookcase. I don't buy everything brand new. I like to look around and find things that have character and that are interesting. So these tables, these nesting tables are antique, but again, the finish works well in the room and I just like them. Lastly, I have a coffee table, but now this is where I broke away from the light brown tones and went into an ivory metal with glass. And yet when I added this, there was another piece I found that was hand painted, not brand new, but it worked beautifully in the room and it's this coffee table or sofa table at the back of the room. In this room, we created both a home office and a place to entertain. So the home office has a lot of built-ins that were added. And over here, we needed file cabinet storage. So that's what was built in below this cabinet. And it works out perfectly well. Now, in addition to the home office, I then wanted to create an area where I had a, uh, a liquor cabinet, if you will, and a place to put cold drinks. So we put a refrigerator in, a sink, and of course, a place to put barware. This works great when company comes. When designing a space, keep in mind nothing has to be all from one store or brand new. Do things that are, have meaning in your life. For instance, the clock that I added in this room belonged to my mother. I had the woodworker make a special spot so I can highlight that clock in the room. So when I look up, I smile and it reminds me of her. To achieve a room in your home that will meet your family's needs, it's more about just putting in beautiful quality furnishings, so that's very important so that the pieces will last. But in addition to that, it's really about the planning stages because that's key to any successful design. If you're not a good planner or you're not sure how to approach it, certainly hire an interior designer. We'll work with you with your lifestyle, budget, and taste to get exactly what you want. I'm Sandy Murphy of Classic Design with PCN's Design Corner.